Hi there, this is Ms. Nunez reading to you the Enneagram Made Easy, personality number six, the questioner. I've developed a new philosophy. I only dread one day at a time, Charles Schultz. Sixes are motivated by the need for security. Phobic sixes are outwardly fearful and seek approval. Counterphobic sixes confront their fear. Both of these aspects can appear in the same person. Sixes are at their best when they are loyal, likable, caring, warm, compassionate, witty, practical, helpful, and responsible. Sixes are at their worst when they are hypervigilant, controlling, unpredictable, judgmental, paranoid, defensive, rigid, self-defeating, and testy. Personality inventory. One, I'm nervous around certain authority figures. Two, I'm often plagued by doubt. Three, I like to have clear cut guidelines and to know where I stand. Four, I'm always on the alert for danger. Five, I take things too seriously. Six, I constantly question myself about what might go wrong. Seven, I often experience criticism as an attack. Eight, I often obsess about what my partner is thinking. Nine, I can be a very hard worker. 10, my friends think of me as a loyal, supportive, and compassionate person. 11, I've been told I have a good sense of humor. 12, I follow rules closely, a phobic trait, or I often break rules, a counterphobic trait. 13, the more vulnerable I am in my intimate relationship, the more anxious and testy I become. 14, I tend to either procrastinate or plunge headlong, even into dangerous situations. 15, I'm very aware of people trying to manipulate me with flattery. 16, I like predictability. 17, I have sabotaged my own success. 18, I can support people through thick and thin. 19, being neat and orderly helps me feel more in control of my life. 20, I dislike pretension in people. How to get along with me? Be direct and clear. Listen to me carefully. Don't judge me for my anxiety. Work things through with me. Reassure me that everything is okay between us. Laugh and make jokes with me. Gently push me toward new experiences. Try not to overreact to my overreacting. Relationships. Sixes are at their best in a relationship that is warm, playful, open, loyal, supportive, honest, fair, and reliable. Sixes are at their worst in a relationship <clears throat> when they are suspicious, controlling, inflexible, and sarcastic. They either withdraw or put on a tough act when threatened. What I like about being a six, being committed and faithful to family and friends, being responsible and hardworking, being compassionate toward others, having intellect and wit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what I like about being counterphobic, being a nonconformist, confronting danger bravely, being direct and assertive. What's hard about being a six? I constantly push and pull, involved in trying to make up my mind. Procrastinate because of fear of failure, having little confidence in myself, fearing being abandoned or taken advantage of, exhausting myself by worrying and scanning for danger. Wishing I had a rule book at work so I could do everything right, being too critical to, of myself when I haven't lived up to my expectations. Success as children often are friendly, likable, and dependable. 
and or sarcastic, bossy, and stubborn. They are anxious and hypervigilant, anticipate danger, form a team of us against them with a best friend or a parent, looking to groups or authorities to protect them and or question authority and rebel. They're neglected or abused, come from unforgettable or alcoholic families and or take on the fearfulness of an overly anxious parent. Sixes as parents are often loving, nurturing, and have a strong sense of duty. They're sometimes reluctant to give their children independence. They worry more than most of their children that their children will be hurt. They sometimes have trouble saying no and setting boundaries. Careers. Though success can be found in almost any career, they're often attracted to the justice system, the military, the corporate world, and academia. Sixes are often like, they like being part of a team. Many are in the healthcare and education. Counterphobic sixes sometimes have jobs that involve risk. Those who lean toward the anti-authoritarian side are usually happier with self-employed. If sixes are unhappy with their work situation, they're likely to become rebellious or secretive. And free time. Sixes have a lot of energy and are often very busy. Besides doing the same kinds of leisure activities that the other eight types do, Sixes often enjoy physical exercise and nature. Some belong to groups that help the underdog. Sixes who lean toward the counterphobic frequently engage in dangerous activities or join rebellious groups. Comments about sixes. Lieutenant Holmes never misses a thing. He's been responsible for solving more crimes than anyone else in the department. He is the most reliable, trustworthy, and hardworking manager my company has ever had. And he keeps morale high with his terrific sense of humor. She, has a, she was a great teacher. Her warmth and insight inspired me to work hard and get into, get into a good college. She's an intelligent, loyal, and lovable friend and has never failed to keep her word or to give me support when I needed it. Wings, your personality can blend into either side. A strong wind can make a big difference. Sixes with a more developed five wing tend to be more introverted, intellectual, cautious, and standoffish. Sixes with a more developed seven wing tend to be more extroverted, materialistic, active and impulsive. Moving within the Enneagram, following the lines in the diagram, the six moves towards nine in one direction and towards three in the other. Sixes move toward the positive side of nine when they feel secure. They can also consciously cultivate these positive qualities. Sixes move toward the negative side of three when they're in stress. They can consciously try to avoid these negative traits. Read about nine and three to learn more. When sixes move toward the positive side of nine, they empathize with others, see things from a broader point of view. They take life less seriously and free up their energy. They put more trust in their own authority. When sixes move toward the negative side of nine, they numb themselves with drugs, TV, reading, food, or sleep in order to stop obsessing. They become spaced out and apathetic. When sixes move toward the negative side of three, they avoid feeling anxious by always being busy. They may become workaholics. They become reluctant to try anything new if there is any possibility of failing. They take on a role or image in order to feel more secure. They tell lies about themselves in order to cover up or get ahead. 
When sixes move toward the positive side of three, they take decisive and effective action. They feel good about all they accomplish. Practical suggestions for six. One, self-confidence. Try to be around people who are accepting, trustworthy, and encouraging. Really notice and try to believe the positive things that people say and do about you. Keep in mind that you can change and overcome your fears and learn to take action in presence of fear. Remember that there is no one right way to live as long as you are satisfied inside with what you are doing. Pat yourself on the back. Don't wait for someone else to tell you that you did well. Write and talk to yourself in nurturing and caring ways. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes. Two, relationships. Sixes are likely to overreact when they are stressed. Don't underestimate the negative effect this can have on people. Give only when you really want to or you will feel drained. Reality check with other people. Were you just thinking, or were you just thinking that I thought you were thinking? <laughs> they worried. Learn to have a good sense of humor about hypervigilance. Three, work. Acknowledge yourself for being a hard worker. Focus on your strengths. Break jobs into small parts and do them one at a time. If you feel overworked or overstressed because you've taken on too much work, delegate as much as you can to others. Be patient when others move at their own pace rather than at yours. Four, anxiety and fear. Observe your fears without judging yourself for having them. Check the facts when anxious. For instance, look up the statistics of the number of plane crashes in a year. Learn to accept being in limbo. Your indecisiveness will not last forever. Take up meditation, breathing, and visualization techniques or take a stress reduction class. Visualize a peaceful scene. When a worry creeps in, take, a, take deep breaths as you go back into the scene. Practice this regularly. Don't call yourself lazy when you are relaxing. Take up physical activities, sports, working out, walking, things sixes would never dream of doing. Hearing a familiar noise during the night and being sure it was a cat, not a burglar. Forgiving themselves after breaking their best friend's favorite vase. Not taking an opinion poll among their friends when contemplating a career change. Going to a new therapist or doctor and not asking even one question about their credentials. Being confident, <clears throat> excuse me, being confident they had made a wise choice after making a major purchase. Positive things to say to yourself. Being prepared means trusting whatever each moment brings. I am strong. I am calm. I can do this. I am okay today, I'll be okay tomorrow. I'm learning to trust my own decisions. It's okay to take risks and make mistakes. Good advice.